Hello friends, in this video we are going to explain how to extract data using PHP. So before going in details, first we will know, we will know what is scrapping. Actually, scrapping data is a concept to use for getting data from running website. There is a connection established by HTTP request or by browser to get the data from running websites. For example, the data is extracted from e-commerce website to get later details of products, their prices by, the, by their competitors to know the details. So we can say scrapping concept is an important concept in web development to get the data from computer, it is mainly used by companies to get data from other websites or computer. So here in this tutorial, I'll tell you how you can implement the scrapping using PHP. So before going in detail, we will see how we will implement scrapping. So here we will so you a live example of scrapping using PHP and MySQL. So we will create a system to scrap data from our web, from our WordPress website to get post details. So here we have created our project scrap data PHP. Here we have created index.php uh, functions in function folder we have created a function.php and here we create our functions to implement scrapping also we have used simple dom simple html dom library for passing html to get the data so all these we will use in our example to implement scrapping so here is our index.php and function.php so first we will design our form to pass to allow user to enter website url to get the data so here we have designed a form here with a input type and we have defined name website url we have also submit buttons so the form is here we here we will load our form here is the form this one and here when website domain or url entered the data of this will be returned so actually the main functionality to provide a website url and get the data or actually the specific page or url for example like home page like home page or the specific uh, page so now we will implement our functionality so here our form when this one is entered you are entered entered and form submitted then the details or data of that website will be fetched on front end so now we will implement our functionality so now we will check our form if form is submitted then we will call a scrap data scrap website function so now we will see the scrap website from here the function we have implemented over here we are making a call request to the url the website from which we will scrap data so here we have passed make I, I have made call request with url and get the response response means the expected content from website then we will create object of simple html dom the library that we are using here is the library the simple html dom.php so here we are creating object of that and we will pass our response that we have get from our current request. So here the response. So we and we will 
call load function from simple HTML DOM to pass our HTML or pass our extracted content from website. So, and we will return past HTML. So, here is our complete function to scrap website and return past HTML. So, here we will get past HTML. Then we will call get port details. Actually, we are in, in scrapping, you will have to implement to get data from a specific website or page. So here, uh, in this example, we are going to get port details from our WordPress website. For, for example, the phpjack.com, the website phpjack.com. Actually, here, here we will load the website phpjack.com. So here is the website. So we will uh, extract or we, we will uh, scrap the post details like post title, post link, and image from phpdag.com. So here we will implement our function get post details. So here, here this one is the function we have implemented get post details. So here we have get past HTML or scrap path HTML. So we will look through this with the functions from simple DOM, simple HTML DOM. So here there is a function like find many other functions. Like you can see the tutorials of this like here simple DOM, simple HTML DOM. So here the functions to pass HTML and can drivers or okay, elements so here is complete you can also download simple dom parser from here this one is so now here we will call function find so html find function in which we will pause heading to tag with class entry title and anchors so you will see here in php jack so the port details are like here you can see this one is so here s2 class entry title with anchor so here we are passing this and getting anchor plain text means text of anchors like this and the href href so we are getting title and post title and post link here and storing in title series we are also getting this one, a post image. So this one is in, in div class entry content and IMG. So we are here finding this section and storing image SRC in title series and returning titles. So actually uh, the purpose of this example to get the uh, Port details from website phpjack.com. So we have created functions and finding HTML similar to that website to get the result to scan the data. So here we are scanning port data with these methods finding HTML that exist in websites. So we have implemented this and we are getting port details here and then we are printing the port details so now when we will see our example here we have passed phpjack.com and if we submit the form the details the website is scraping and it is scraped successfully and the details are post are returned in a multi-dimensional array with the details portrait like title link image url etc so all this return in an array so the function return port details if you want there are also functions or method 
to uh, or you can find the anchors like finding a uh, passing href to get a specific anchor so it is so now the website is scrapped and result is returned to us in a multi-dimensional array we can also implement functionality to write the scrap result into a csv file so here we have also implement functionality so we will comment this and here i uncommented write to csv so this one and passed port details like port, port detail html and call function write to csv so here we have implemented our function write to csv and we, we have passed port details and we are writing scrap port details to csv file here we are writing here we have also created a heading or title like title link image so this one is we are writing to csv file and allow to load when file is created so now we have implemented our csv function and when we run this when we run our example we will load this and support and when we load phpdag.com the data will be written to csv file and downloaded so here our output.csv is loaded so we will go to the this one is output.csv file when we will open this here is the data written to csv file so here is title link image so this one is created successfully so here we have also covered writing scrap data to csv file so here in the tutorial we have covered to scrap website to get content then pass scrap data using simple dom html then get port details of website phpjack.com from this and then we have displayed scrap data we have also covered to write scrap data to csv file with function write to csv so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial to scrap data from website using php and mysql so save this video you can like this video you can also subscribe our channel thanks